Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales at Challenge Runs. My name is Saiken and today we're answering the question, what is in C tier? The answer is nothing. No animal is in C tier, the only other animal is in D tier. Maybe mosquitoes could be argued to be in C tier. Um, so we're jumping right into D tier for this episode because I brought everybody's favorite, the mole rat. And as always, we're going to start with bills, and then a moderate uh, encounter, and then a heavy encounter. I don't think that we're even getting to the heavy encounter, but I might stand corrected here. So, I got ourselves level 14 mole rats. Uh, that in itself is an, is an achievement. I might tell you about it at another day. Anyways, uh, the mole rats... Uh, in terms of build are relatively straightforward really uh, they come in surprisingly enough at uh, the health level of a wolf but um, they are less impactful shall I say because of their skill tree which is really not that great but maybe we can do something with them so uh, they do have uh, the same health as a level 12 uh, wolf alpha uh, or as a level 14 wolf we're seeing a good stat array that in itself is fine i'm running the burning color and trying to do that yet again maybe i don't want to talk myself out of it but we got one tank red let's put a couple of regenerative colors uh, there and a couple of burning colors the reason why i'm even choosing the burning colors is because they can be immune to the effect of fire thanks to one of their trait, Remarkable Organism. But let's go through it one by one. Stupor is a passive ability to find food. Uh, basically, the rats, just like the boars, excel at not costing food, but unfortunately they are still increasing the enemy's uh, group size. My own testing has shown that they are kind of three for one, so they are even lower than uh, the wolves, for instance. Uh, so three reds count for one uh, enemy that is going to come in. Uh, as a second ability, I used Call of the Swarm. Cause one unit of its type, but can only be used uh, when 50% of health, or at maximum 50% of health is remaining. Uh, so that can create more reds. Unfortunately, reds, just like boars, might run away in combat. We do have Remarkable Organism, unit cannot die from damage uh, of bleeding, poison and burning, which is good, I suppose, uh, so the burning color really doesn't do a whole lot. And then we do have the uh, Poisoned ability that I used for level 12, every incoming or outgoing attack applies two poison to the opponent, uh, so that will be our way of chewing through really, really tough opponents. Um, Immortal is another option here, uh, which always gives them a 70% chance to dodge everything, but the other 30% is they are just running away and flee fleeing from battle. I guess you could play it uh, that way, but my thought process was they all have more than 15 willpower, so they at least can take one hit. Um, if you roll twice with a 70% chance, there is, it's pretty much 50-50. Um, if your red is even going to be on the battlefield. In my case, um, when they are getting hit, at least uh, if they have enough hit points uh, with their current setup, they would uh, survive one hit. So going back to the bite real quick. Uh, so I chose poison to really max stack poison. And the nibbling bite isn't bad. It deals damage. And if it's already engaged with an ally, the damage is increased by 50%. So it's sort of a mini crit in that uh, regard. Also, strength numbers. Damage increases by 25% for each allied mole red within 6 feet. So we want to have a very compact uh, kind of pack-like um, ability. Um, and that isn't too bad. If you think about it, you're getting a base damage of 50-ish. Yeah, Then you get... Damage increase by 50% if they're already engaged. So that's already baseline 75%. And then say there are four mole reds just for the purpose, then that's another 100% increase. So it's 150. Uh, the more mole reds you have, the better that becomes. On top of that, uh, I want to highlight another ability, Cover of Darkness. We're currently in the middle of the night here. 
and uh, as long as this unit moves in darkness they have brutality and i will i want to check if uh, night really offers quote unquote darkness more reds are excelling in uh, tombs and dungeons but i don't want to do a tomb or dungeon fight because guess what you're fighting against more reds and that would not be punching up uh, the weight class so we're going to see if night will actually allow us to have brutality elsewise in all of the other circumstances you do have fragility which really is the problem with most of the reds they are not very uh, durable but they can deal some damage and specifically poison so that's what we're up uh, to do i chose that we're fighting a pretty hefty uh, set of enemies so in instead of going in lightly and killing a couple of lizards i wanted uh, the kind of moderate challenge just like we did it with the lizards um, using pirates as the baseline the lizards beat pirates um close though i am expecting us to get our ass handed to us but we're going to find out if that's really the case in the fight all right we're joining the battle i had a little bit of a technical difficulty apparently the burning collar isn't very much liked uh, together with the mold red it uh, creates errors whenever i engage with the mold red with a burning collar essentially the mold red's end turn button was grayed out I'll report that back afterwards, but we're just going to try our best uh, as long as these guys do not engage. Let's take a look. We're fighting against 14 with only 9 reds. Uh, however, they are segmented nicely into 3 packs. So let's hope we can get these guys down before the others are going to engage. First more red already uh, went for an archer before for anything could happen and now it's the enemy's turn they do have the action economy upon us and definitely stronger attacks so it's a matter of getting them down and getting them down fast the buccaneer here could be a problem here is tank red tank red will do exactly what her name suggests as in tanking this guy because i don't want aoe damage to take too many hit points away from us hundred seventeen is not too bad i mean it could be worse right the guy takes some extra damage and we're good i uh, got a pugilist here Good hit, fantastic. The reds are dealing a decent amount of damage. Unfortunately, they are not really good at tanking, which was to be expected, right? So no surprise so far. But the fact that they can get lighter targets down as far as they uh, have already shown is impressive. Good, we finally got a little bit time to spare. Moving up, and we want to gang up on this guy. Oh, nice. Good hit. Good, let's try to be in that six-foot uh, circle and really gang up closely. Good. Next more red. Moves up. Nah. A little bit further away. I don't want to start to burn. And as long as we can maybe get a few of them down this turn, that would already be fantastic. Like I said, I'm not expecting that we're going to win this battle. More red moves up. Massive damage from the side. 112 points of damage is really, really strong. Good. 
Good, this guy will get his turn. Nice. Very, very nice. See? And now we're back into that unfortunate error that only happens when a burning red is critting someone. Let me fix that. Good, same turn. My main problem is... Almost all of these guys would die, uh, would survive a hit, and that means in return that we uh, that we would always be stuck. So, really got to manage this, this burning. All right, we're down to willpower levels. The freebooter, however, took fire damage and. Uh, took poison damage. Good, this guy should die. How about we're healing you? Just getting rid of the burning. And we're moving back over here. Cool. Every single one of the rats gets a little bit of healing. And we're attacking from behind. Yeah, not even the crit, it's just the attack that, uh, well, that's really unfortunate. Let me redo that. Yeah, it must have something to do with the fire. It's unfortunate because this is going to trick us out of a lot of extra damage that we elsewise would be getting. Could just move up and really do nothing. So we lost the turn there, making the fight in return even more difficult. We're almost even numbers wise, which is hilarious if you think about it. Good, that's a solid kill. Morad is just standing there. Let's try to get individual ones of them, one by one, and just overwhelm them. These guys will take some more time. How far can they move? Almost could reach us. Almost. Good, we're fighting nine on nine, so officially, officially this is an even match. Inofficially, of course, they are stronger, without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Let's just double check. As long as we're not getting too far ahead of ourselves, should be fine. Yep, bugs yet again. Unfortunate. Good, let's try this again. We should have potentially moved the non-burning ones in first. All right, did that work? Did we call a swarm? Oh yeah, we did. Shh. 
Sure thing. That is that isn't too bad. But that was instead of the attack. Okay, cool. I mean I can I can work with that. Hmm. This gets me thinking. Maybe with that ability it's not that bad. Okay, we're sort of splitting uh, these guys away as they are dealing with uh, the summoned more rats. I think that's a one-time thing. I just can't summon more. Shall we try again? I do have my suspicion that it may not work. Well, if you one-shot them, then it actually works. Uh, not very surprising, but we had enough reds. I might need to cure, uh, cure the burning. Good. Fabulous. Can you attack? No, you cannot attack. Okay. Never mind. That's still a kill. Oh, and we're hitting galvanization. Already. Very nice. More reds are clustering up. We're now in a 10 versus 7 because we summoned allies. The new meta, more reds, I'm telling you. Better than expected. This one here apparently doesn't attack yet. Let's kill. Then let's heal the burning. Got this one seafarer over there. All right. Yep, we're just standing in the middle of everyone. Summon more rats. There we go. Works like a charm. Never thought that more reds would be summoner builds, but apparently that's what they are. When is this guy? When is it this guy's turn? Still a little bit. How far can he uh, can he move to there? Okay, fair enough. Moves up here and waits. Of 
funny because they are just killing them uh, themselves. I'm not even doing anything at this point. Tight formation. We're waiting for them to arrive or approach us. Good. Now it's his turn. Fortunately, they got this human torch thing, which I really don't like. Because it will put us into... Yep, you guessed it. Burning. The one state uh, that corrupts more reds. Whatever, let's go. And you can see it immediately begins to mess uh, with it. Wonderful, need to replay that. It's almost as if the game doesn't want us to survive. So yeah, we can't engage any of these guys. We don't have any ranged attack. Well, we do have one ranged attack, but this would be hilariously bad if we can't defeat them because of fire. Can get up to five feet towards them. But as you can imagine, it nicely covers all of the different areas. And reach them. God damn it. Okay, for whatever reason this time we can end the Mole Red's turn. I'm not afraid uh, of burning, I'm just afraid that these guys uh, that were not being able to end the turn, and if that's the case, then we can't really win this battle, right? Make sense? All right. The reason why I'm not afraid of burning is because we do have explicitly a trait that allows us to not die from burning. New round is starting. More red moves here. How far can this guy move? Yeah, easily can reach us without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, who's the biggest threat? I would say this buccaneer. It's pretty bad. Good, we're getting him down. And sure, why not heal up our Morret? This other one might die soon. But that's the life, life of a red, isn't it? They can't reach us. They can't reach us, so... We would be ill-advised to go in too far. Let's do the little Starcraft trick, which is moving back the injured ones, getting fresh ones to the front, and we're calling the swarm. Can I do that? Unlimited amount of times? No, that would be too OP. Or would it? Or would it? Oh, 
All right, bring it on, you Corsair. Ouch. That hurts, my dude. go nice the opponent decides to flee beaten by nothing but rats let that sink in and we didn't even lose one how is it possible that i gave them d tier and then you play with them and they're actually not bad at all they are not bad at all we're going to test our theory against some real opposition still got enough valor points so we're good these guys are not ve very valor hungry maybe we can use a sneak attack a surprise attack against the guards here by the way knight doesn't do jack s uh, for their ability the ball reds still have the same uh, vulnerability all of them so level 14 guards this is as hard as it gets and i must say the reds have already exceeded expectations so far enemies two reinforcement waves incoming fair enough Good, we got this guy. Quartermaster is a problem as well. Specifically with that attack of opportunity. Yep, uh, these two are going to be major problems. So might as well uh, start moving in because why not can we survive an attack of opportunity oh no we can't Summon more rats. And we're just standing here-ish. And the quartermasters can hit AoE. So we got to be careful with that. Little bit of pushback, okay, cool. I think I'm just going to eliminate the quartermaster to be fair. hit him hmm, that wasn't bad that was a kill fantastic quartermaster down Yes, uh, the Beastmaster here is carrying a bit more. It's no longer a level 10 Beastmaster, but actually level 13 Beastmaster. But what can you do? It's The rats aren't necessarily carrying their own weight. Try 
trying to survive uh, let this red survive all right fantastic so this guy's burning ouch we're taking a lot of damage in return but he does as well and we got a couple of distractions these guys go next uh, cadets can't do much if they are tied up in melee. I already realized that. The marina, unfortunately, can always get out of a melee, sticky melee situation. Okay, never mind. I stand corrected on the cannot do anything when tied up in melee. Apparently they can't do against lizards, but they very much can do against other enemies. Oh well, good hits. I give him that, this guy needs to die. We're summoning more rats. Because realistically, what are they going to do about it? Yeah, exactly, nothing. We're just getting the numbers advantage. Rats aren't that bad, dude. Who said they are D tier? If skilled correctly... Oh, ouch. Well, that's the first one who just died. Unfortunate. Rest in peace. But we killed two of the enemy, so they are already at wolf uh, level. Uh, enemy is now in a massive numbers advantage. Well, here's the problem. And the only way to solve a problem is by making sure that they will never hurt us again. Good hit. How about a little bit of tender loving care? And we got another hatchet here. Uh oh, got a trimmer down there. Not great. Well, everybody just got a few buffs. Uh, who can call rats? You can, which is good. Please do so. This guy can reach every single one. So might as well just position ourselves there and accept our fate. More rats. Followed by sneaky sneaky move back. Ouch. Uh, we gotta work with that cadet. Takes a lot of damage because he's ultra poisoned, but still. Calling more rats. And I'm moving to the back. It would be cool if the mole reds would actually... Oh, wow. 
If the summon more reds would actually do something, unfortunately they're just chilling. Good. <laughs> Killed by the burning red. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. We killed five. That's almost, I mean, that's uh, as good as a lizard. So they are almost tied for that. The lizards, I think, took seven uh, down. So the rats are doing much better than I would have guessed. Unfortunately, the sheer numbers, I don't think that we will be able to go through them. But the few summonings here are keeping at least the reinforcements busy and maybe just maybe we can get the cadet and so on down. There are definitely a lot of dead reds. Uh, there is carnage everywhere. One of the most funny encounters that I have had in a while. All right. Yeah, the problem is these guys do have the pushback mechanic. Uh, that also deals damage. That was uh, the demise of uh, most of the lizards. But we survived two rounds. No one can take that away from us. And we're still standing for now. Last round of reinforcements, not a, that I think that we have a remote chance of surviving this. Nah, unfortunately they just cleaned up all of the reinforcements um, from our side and... Well, okay, yeah, 28, thank you. G, G. Hmm. Need to engage and keep this guy busy for now. They certainly have the numbers advantage. So, as much as I wish to summon more swarms, just to keep these guys busy, ain't, ain't going to work out. Oh, look at the amount of enemies that can uh, take their turn before we can. Our tank red just lost their protective color. Nah. This is over. We killed eight, seven, seven or eight. So they did just as well as uh, the lizards uh, did. Uh, and they, unfortunately, due to their pack size, fought a much, much higher number of enemies. Now they killed eight. So they barely surpassed uh, the the lizards but i would uh, say it's pretty much even between the two of them my takeaway from all of this here is reds are not necessarily d tier if you play them right and we've seen it against uh, the pack of merchants then you can use the the low ones in order to go to the back and essentially start 
um, start summoning more reds and that will eventually uh, keep uh, the reinforcements busy if you do have a bit more open map like um, the one that we had beforehand where the enemy is split uh, then you can very much keep them busy it was a decisive victory we lost zero reds in that engagement unfortunately against guards as so many animals the lack of armor didn't really uh, give us a fighting chance but we ended up uh, just on the lizard uh, tier so in summary bears uh, just performed just as strong as we supposed or suggested they would perform uh, wolves underperformed i would say they were the big disappointment from my end uh, i might have played them incorrectly but uh, the they certainly underperformed and uh, lizards were just kind of the benchmark boars sort of overperformed slightly compared to what i was thinking they would do and uh, reds certainly overperformed uh, so on the adjusted ranking based on the few fights that i did b with single target uh, teams i would say bears still s tier um, then i would um, say in in the a tier category i would put the lizards in there uh, barely a minus uh, wolves and um, and uh, boars and rats actually b tier so the lizards are a nice uh, step up the rats in my perspective uh, have potentially gotten a bit of a bad rap compared to what they actually bring to the table they survived three rounds here uh, granted we uh, took a lot of uh, losses but they nonetheless survived three rounds and with their mechanic of low hit point uh, summon additional swarms that was a neat one i am not sure if you can redo that over and over uh, when you're low on hit points but it really doesn't matter at this point i think uh, that is a fitting uh, conclusion and end look at this uh, battlefield is just utter carnage blood and gore everywhere and that's the perfect ending screen for the challenge run with the reds thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one bye bye